Hi everyone, now we'll start a new topic, archives. Before jumping into how to create a campaign within DoubleClick, it's very important for the user and students to understand the different types of ads that what you can create within DoubleClick Campaign Manager. There are generally three types of ads that what you can create. The first one is tracking ads, the second one is a click tracker ads, and the third one is standard ads. Let's move further in order to explain that what different types of ad type means. Tracking ads. Tracking ads are used for tracking non-campaign manager content. So let's take an example that you are using any third-party ad survey, and but you want to record the numbers in double click. So in that particular case, you have to use this tracking ad type to record the impressions and click within double click so so this way you can use campaign manager reporting tools to check clicks and impression even when the content is not served by the campaign manager so as i told you earlier if you are using any other tools uh, you know as an ad server like sysmic or you are using adobe uh, ad server to render your ads but you want the numbers to be recorded into double click then you have to select the tracking ad type to record the numbers within double click. Moving further, click tracker. Click tracker is again a type of ad wherein you can just record the clicks within the double click environment or to build your own audience within double click. Let's take example you're using Sysmic or any other uh, tools to render your ads or to do the centralized ad management and you want the numbers to be recorded within double click then you can you know, fluctuate between tracking and click tracker the difference between the tracking and click uh, you know tracking and click tracker is tracking ads can record both impression as well as click but click tracker can only record clicks within double click as an efficient uh, you know campaign manager I would suggest that always use a tracking ads for uh, you know tracking any uh, third party information within double click because that gives a precise information that how the campaign is performing for that which has been rendered from any other third party server. Let's move further. Now we'll be explaining about the standard ads. Now, if you are using, you know, ad, uh, double click to render your ads, or you're using double click as your ad server to host your creative to uh, render your ads, then standard ads is, is the option for you. From standard ad, you can select uh, image type, you can select uh, videos, and you can images and different types of ad can be rendered. So whenever you're preparing a campaign for yourself, so if you're not using any third party, you just keep in mind that you, you have to use the standard ad type to you know, implement or traffic a campaign within your uh, campaign manager. Let me show you one very interesting thing, which is a default ad. Default ads are served when there is no other ads eligible to be rendered to a user. This is an automatic feature which double clicks already you know, assigned to a respective creatives. Why it is used in, in double click campaign manager just for a better user experience. So let's say example you, are, you have target, uh, uh, you have defined some targeting and that targeting is not met. Your start and end date is not met. So in that case there is no ad to be rendered. So in that case that particular slot would be blank. Just in order to have a better user experience Double click automatically pitches the default ad onto that particular ad slot, which is which has not met the targeting options. So default ads serve when no other ads are eligible to serve to a placement. That's the way there is always an ad to show to your audience. Default ads have no targeting criteria. This is a very important thing. And generally in the interviews they ask that what is the difference between you know a standard ad type and a default ad so just remember this particular uh, term the targeting criteria so whenever the targeting targeting criteria is not met then at that particular uh, point of time the default ad is served to those 
uh, particular user. So any user who is eligible to receive, receive them. Now, default ads is automatically prepared within double click. There is nothing that you have to go and traffic man manually. The moment you upload one creative, the moment you have traffic one uh, ad, the double click asks that what particular message you want to deliver to those user as you know who actually get exposed towards uh, default ad. So you so once you select the creative, automatically double click creates a default ad. And one very important feature is also there that if you're not making any default ads, you won't be able to download the ad tags. Now how they are created, Campaign Manager automatically creates a default ad for its in-stream and display placement. As soon as you add a creative with the right asset type, size and compatibility, Campaign Manager creates a default ad for it and assigns it to all the placements that's coming up. Now over here, one very tricky thing, sometimes they, you know, in the interview it's asked that what is the difference between a HTML backup and a default ad. So just remember that when the HTML is not able to render the creatives, the HTML creative due to some JavaScript, the technical problem of the browser like uh, JavaScript, the iframe, the you know the ad slot is not getting fit fitted within the creative. So in that case, the backup image of the HTML is served. However, the default ad is only served when the targeting criteria is not met. So just keep three things in mind. What is a default ad? When the default ad is served, what is the difference between the backup HTML uh, creative and the default ads? So this will give a clear, concise information that what exactly uh, is the function of a default ad. Also, I have defined certain uh, you know types when the default ad is served into the course material. I would request the user to go through the course material as well on the different types when the default ads is rendered. Having said that, if you have any questions or doubt, please leave, a, leave on to the comment section. I would love to go ahead and answer those. Thank you.